What's up, Saiyan Army? So, first off, I just want to thank all of you guys. Right now, it's been about a month since I've been with Mansports, and, so, and the support you guys have given me has been phenomenal. So, I just want to thank all of you guys for you guys. Those of you guys who are trying out Mansports, liking their stuff, using my discount code, I really appreciate it because it does help me out as well. Now, secondly, I want to give a shout out to Mansports. I put in a or I spoke with them on Tuesday telling them I needed more supplements and uh, today's Thursday so they got their supplements from Texas to Hawaii in about two days and yeah because I'm running low also I've been sharing with my brother he's getting addicted to the man sports as well so yeah and I know that if they treat me with such a good customer service and I get this stuff free <laughs> then they're treating you guys good as well so and the last thing I want to talk about is a giveaway in just thanking you guys for the support. So I'm working together with Mansports to do a giveaway. And what we're giving away is a Saiyan stack. For those of you guys who don't know what the Saiyan stack is, it's my favorite stack whenever I'm feeling tired, whenever I'm feeling lazy, unmotivated, whenever I want to take my workouts to that, like that next level, whenever, yeah. So first thing that I take is the Peptest Bulk. And I'll be honest, I've been taking this even when I'm feeling good. I just really like the stack. Next thing I, wanna, I take is New Pump. Last thing I take is Iso Aminos. Ooh, Sweet Delish. This is their newest flavor. I'm gonna, looking forward to trying this. Sweet Delish. Kind of like Swedish Fish, but Sweet Delish. And yeah, so that makes the Sand Pump. Sand Pump. Sand Pump. Sand Stack that gives you the Sand Pump. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be picking three winners for this giveaway. Now, how do you enter? You're not, I'm not going to make you post this on Instagram. I'm not going to make you hashtag 10 different things. This is how you enter. First thing is like the video. Second thing, comment down below your greatest accomplishment in fitness thus far. Third thing you're going to do is comment below a flavor you'd like to try from Mansports. One of the things I really love about Mansports is they have really unique flavors such as Sour Batch, um, Tiger's Blood is really unique. It's kind of like a pina colada. Dork's is really unique. And now Sweet Delish. So it's one of the things I really love about Mansport. So comment down a flavor you'd love to try. And last but not least, comment down below, Kamehameha! Just to keep it sane. So yeah, sane stack. We're going to be picking three lucky winners to win this. Thank you guys again for all the support. I really appreciate it. Love you all. Enjoy the rest of the video. Good morning, Saiyan Army. So that's my parents' scale. I think it's probably off or wrong. It gives me different weigh-ins sometimes, and it, I don't know, it's just weird. So either that's wrong, or my scale back in New York is wrong. So I don't know, I don't think I'm 167 anyways. So pretty lean though, feeling good. Can you guess which one is me? And this was my first like big fish. They call that Papio in uh, Hawaiian. I believe the white name is like something Trevali or I think that was a Omilu. See how it has like a little blue on the fins? Yeah they call that Omilu. It's like a brother of it or whatever. Like a type of it. And I remember that day like it was yesterday. That was like my first like legit fish that we caught. I was whipping with my dad. I remember I felt like I snagged a rock so I was like oh crap. And then the rack starts moving and zzz, my line starts going. And yeah, I remember like it was yesterday. It was, yeah, it was like one of those moments that I'll remember for the rest of my life. So yeah, we're definitely doing more fishing with my um, dad and brother and whoever else we bring during this trip. And I'll be sure to bring the GoPro. Should be fun. I'm excited. Alan. 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 Alright, so it's currently 11.45 and we need our first meal and this is kind of like a pre-workout meal even though I don't eat too much pre-workout meals, just today I decided to. Anyways, we got 6 ounces of mahi-mahi that my mom made and some soba and she made this like 
citrusy, it's like a lemon citrus sauce kind of thing. Yeah, it tastes real good though, so I'm just gonna like soak it up in there. And I didn't bring, I forgot to bring my food scale, so we went to the store to get a food scale. Check this thing out. This thing is from like the Jurassic ages. It's so, like you put something on and then you can like zero it. There's a knob down there that you twist to zero it out. Yeah, pretty ghetto, but it does it gets the job done. All right, heading to the gym right now. Sorry if you guys have a hard time hearing me. It's super hot right now. There we go, I think you guys are out of the AC blast. But yeah, if you guys remember in my other video, I told you guys I wanna know where I, I found out where, whoa, don't hit the bird out. Oh shit. Um, I found out where my dream home is gonna be, so I want to show you guys. So we're taking the scenic route, and this place is called Hawaii, or not Hawaii, Haiku Plantations. So one person actually guessed it in the comment section below, but here's what it looks like. It's a gated community right in there, and that guy thinks I'm filming him. But anyways, yeah, it's all one acre lots or bigger I think so it's a lot of land and ideally I want to pick up a house in there build a gym in there build like a I think it'd be pretty cool to get like an indoor outdoor kind of gym that'd be amazing kind of like an indoor outdoor pool but make it like an indoor outdoor gym so that's what I want to do that's where I want to live all the houses in there are at least starting a mill um, I think when I looked online it's like 1.2 to 1.4 so we got a lot of saving to do, but if you don't have dreams, why are you alive? Alright, so running across guys is Kamehameha Highway. If you jump on this highway, you will go over 9,000. Serious. Anyways, so the whole thing behind Kamehameha Highway, Kamehameha was the first king to unite all the Hawaiian Islands. So all the Hawaiian Islands had their own king before and then King Kamehameha pretty much just conquered all the islands and brought it into one in you know one island one nation or whatever not nation <laughs> just one community so he pretty much just conquered and he was the first king of all the Hawaiian Islands basically I looked this up Akira the creator of Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball his wife was a fan of Hawaii and she told him to call it Kamehameha and name him after the Hawaii's first king, after the Hawaiian king. So, little knowledge bomb for you guys. So I'm actually going to turn this video into a day of eating for you guys. I just came back from the gym and running a few errands and whatnot. The pump was real, the sand stack kicked in hardcore. It was an amazing workout. I didn't film anything just because it, it was kind of busy. And also the gym I go to is really open. So I didn't really want to film or get kicked off this early. But let me show you the one food that I always think about when I'm in New York that I miss from Hawaii. And it's making my mouth water just thinking about it. So this is poke, ahi poke. So it's basically fish. This one is the spicy ahi poke. And this is covered in mayonnaise and some other spices. And this is their secret sauce spicy Okay, I don't know what the sauce is, but I tried it and it's really good. No mayonnaise, so I'm going to be eating this one because I have to track for the next day before my photo shoot. But after that, I'm going to move on to this one because this is my all-time favorite. And fish is so damn good. Also, a lot of people mess up and they call it pokey. My parents do this too and they're from Hawaii. It's not pokey, it's poke. P-O-K-E. So yeah, I'm going to put this together and I'll show you guys afterwards. Here it is, 200 grams of white rice and six ounces of poke. Mmm, this stuff is so good. I'm telling you guys, if any of you guys come to Hawaii, gotta get yourself some poke. It's the best. And it just like melts in your mouth. Mmm. Also, washing it down with a, that Mountain Dew. Next snack, dessert I guess. Quest Bar, the mint chocolate chip Quest Bar. Now I'm not affiliated with Quest whatsoever, but I decided to give this a try because I remember when I've seen like 10 different videos. Oops, my phone almost fell. 10 different videos up on YouTube for this flavor. So, 
most part. Hmm. Hmm. It's actually not too bad. I wish it was a little bit more minty. I think I like Oreo better, but it's definitely not bad. I just wish it was more minty. 2.30 a.m. Medium curly fries from Jack in the Box. Fajita pita. Ghetto as hell. Get what you paid for. Just came home from fishing. 3 a.m. 312s. Two papillos. And one oeo. I don't know what these Hawaiian names. Do you know what toal means in Hawaiian? Perch. Perch? Because it looks like a bird? Golden perch. Is it because it looks like a bird? Kinda looks like bird colors, yeah? But look at that eyeball. The eyeball looks weird. It's like blood red, yeah? I know oeo means bonefish, right? Yeah, oeo means bonefish. So this sucker is filled with bones. And it's super hard to clean and super... Yeah, just hard to prepare. It's a bitch. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000!